Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Nilaus and we are up to episode 3. And uh, I gotta admit, this is not the first time I've recorded this episode. It is the second time. Because um, for some reason my audio settings had uh, decided to mess up. And therefore I was barely recording any audio or for me. And I was looking at it afterwards and going like, yeah, I can't do that. I can't upload this. So I had to undo all the things I did because there's no way of uh, reloading a save. So I had just had to do it the old fashioned way of just... Uh, Okay, well, uh, redo it. We have a lot of interesting things to do again today. And oh, the good thing about it is that now, hopefully, I will be more prepared. We are going to take out the first boss, Eichthyr, and we are then going to... Uh, two, 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 then we are going to build a magnificent mansion. Well, it's, it's going to be a nice little starter house. Uh, what you can see now, um, unfortunately, is that I, next to my health bar, I already have a buff there. That is a buff you get for killing the first boss. But uh, since I had to kill the first boss to even uh, on my first recording, then then I already have that buff. But that doesn't matter. We are going to kill the boss and I'm going to explain how to do it. And we are going to enjoy it like it's the first time. And hopefully I will uh, play better this time. Well, I still played pretty well the second time. Let's talk a bit about the boss. The boss is... Uh, is a giant stack and it has two significant attacks aside from just running at you and attacking you. It has an AoE blast around it, so that means melee is a bit too dangerous. It also has a uh, a lightning strike in front and that means you want to make, spot it coming and then uh, run away. This is where we summon it and the way you summon it is by putting two deer trophies. So we actually use two deer trophies and we can just put in two deer more two dear more trophies and then we will summon the boss again let's do that and then uh, this is going to be a purely a ranged fight and i have 95 arrows so let's see how many we have at the end of it i'm going to be strafing and i am going to be strafing around this here because that is i don't know if it's an indestructible but it certainly is uh, very durable we have to manage our well that's not a great start we have to manage our stamina and uh, we got it. And then let's start running back to this location. Yeah, we have some lightning coming. Wow, that stone had it coming. And that's what we don't want to be hit by. That's the AoE. So put in some fire arrows. Uh, you don't really need... Oh, that was a bad shot. Don't need fire arrows. And you, but you do need to hit it with the arrows. Okay, got it. And that's the one. We, that's the AOE. Okay, we do take a bit of damage, but that's it's kind of irrelevant at this point. There. Don't think you need to draw the attack fully back. Uh, when it gets close, you run. You want to make sure that you have stamina for that, and then you really want to get it to to do some kind of attack, because then it won't be uh, doing anything. And. No, no special attack. Then we just walk to so recover stamina. And that's the attack. Get some more damage in. We are got it halfway. And that's an AoE. Yep. Should be a good time for us to put in some damage. Get some distance. It's coming. And this is where we really want to make sure that we have a bit of stamina left. Oh, still going. Oh, we destroyed some things. go watch the stamina get it back that was our uh, world save and we get it even though it looks like we're actually missing we are, we are gonna get the fire on top put a bit of damage ah that was that was me being greedy me being greedy okay well the thing is it's certainly not indestructible because it has destroyed our thing up ah, the runaway it has destroyed this cairn or the stone edge or whatever it is Okay, that it didn't really deal much damage. Ah. I think the main part here is just make sure okay, that's the AoE. Just make sure you have the fire attack up on it all the time. And fire damage are fire arrows are super easy to make. Okay, run away. Okay, we got it. Another attack. Wow. Really? From this distance? Put some damage in. I have low stamina, so be careful. Oh, that was stupid. That's one of those you don't want to do. Use the stamina. 
That's also one of those you don't want to do. Putting some fire arrows in. Take a bit of damage, but all things considered, it's not really much. And that was it. We killed the boss. Woohoo! Now, that's everything about this is completely the same when first and second time you kill it. This way, it's the only thing different. Oh, you even get a trophy. Oh, right, to hang on the wall. Nice. And we also get a lot of stone. So, but uh, it, it destroyed a few things. We might as well go around picking up the stone that got destroyed. Eh, it's free stone. Free stone! Lovely. All right, so that was the boss fight. So what we do from uh, after the boss fight... See, that didn't take long. Five minutes of, uh, of boss fighting, and then we are good to go. That leaves a lot of time for the rest. I'll just switch back to normal arrows, because we don't want to set our deers on fire unless we need to. Okay, and also, uh, we started with 95, so we used 23... Uh, 33 arrows. Yes, thank you. 33 arrows, that's... Yeah, so... Going there with 40 might be a bit uh, dodgy, but going there with more than that, and you should be fine. Depending on whether you have better or worse aim than I do. So this is where we are, well, supposed to go. i uh, also do... There. Right, so here... I have, as you uh, can see, already put it here. You put it on the hook. And then you get the buff that we have, the Ike buff. And it's a really nice buff. Let's have a look at what it does. It gives us here, you can select one of these, your jump, your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage minus 60, jump stamina usage minus 60. So basically when we have that active, it act can be active for 5 minutes out of every 20 minutes. It has 20 minute cooldown and uh, it has 15, it has 5 minutes of, uh, of activity. That's pretty damn amazing. Right, so now the second half of what we wanted to do, let's pop one of these is that we want to build a magnificent mansion. And uh, I, you can see I've done some things here. I left one thing here. I had to pull the whole thing down. But we are going to build it here and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. So uh, let's get started on that. Uh, do I have some things? Oh yeah, one of the other things is you get these hard antlers. That hard antler is the what you need to make a pickaxe. I think this is a really cool way of of gating things where you go in here and then you can make the pickaxe now from one of the antlers and you get three of those so if you are more than three people in the group then you have to kill the boss multiple times there we are not able to put it in there i don't know if i want to put an extra hammer uh, see we can kill it one more time if we want to there we go that's some food and i think this food is just going to be fine and also that one don't want to carry that we still have 12 minutes of rest, so we're good. Here, up. Where's that? Is that a bow? And uh, ah, it flew away. Damn it! All right, let's go to our builder and get some wood because that's where we're gonna start. Uh, carrying too much? How much? Too much? Just a bit too much. A bit too much. Too much. There. Right, so there are many ways to build houses. Right now, we don't have uh, the leveling mechanics, or all that good stuff. So I don't want to be... I want to start by making a foundation all the way around. And that's why I put this one. I am going to start making it. The size of it is going to be one, two, three, four. Here's... We also going to talk a lot about the structure point. If it's blue, that means it's resting on the ground and it's certainly anchored. This one is also blue. That's actually interesting. I would imagine that would have been better here. Nope. And that one. Yes. And that's blue as well. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So that is the corner. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. This is a, a mess that someone made while they were trying some things there. Uh, hold on, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's still blue, so it's still anchored. It's still anchored on the ground. One, two, three. 
That's funny. That was some missing thing. Five and six. Also pick up some flint. Pick up that one. And then I'm going to drag it back here. One, two, we don't even need to count because it's just going to get all the way up there. At some point, I can't be placing the big ones there. Oh, really? Then we go to the small ones. That one, that one. So, what have we done here? Now, that is the framework of our base, but it's not going to be good enough because if I just build the whole thing, then it's going to collapse in the middle. So, I'm going to put some uh, some support into the middle, and the way I'm going to do it is, since this is going to be 6 by 10, then... Nope. I want to build it uh, every two tiles. Yeah. And that one, and that one, and there. These don't serve any purpose at all, except for one thing. They serve the purpose that it is much easier to anchor these when I can't. So this one, I can, oh, it did there. That's done. I can take these two out. So that's now a, a rock steady pillar. I can also build it here. So this pillar is also stable. That's blue. It's blue. That should be mean that they are standing on the ground by themselves and they won't collapse when I remove the other things. That's green, so it's not actually at the ground. So let's take a small pillar below. There. And now it should be okay. So take these out. Yes, it is. That one. Is that? That's blue. Okay. So take these two out. That's green, so it's not actually at the ground. So I need to find a way to get one below. That's weird. Right? It should be possible. I really feel that it should be possible. Like, if it's, ye it's even yellow, it's even worse. How is that not happening? I mean, that's... That's weird. Sometimes when you have a problem, it helps to just sleep on it and try again the day after. So what we've done here is we built all of these. They are now... It's now steady and uh, it's, it's all good. And we got some birds for breakfast. Actually, we only got the feathers. Right, so the next thing we want to do is make some... Uh, there. Some flooring in here. And if I recall correctly, it's easier to... See the only... Th no, actually, not even easier. Just the only way to really do this is to... Build it towards something. Like, building it away from yourself is really difficult. Like, this one, for example. Like, building here is really difficult for some reason. Uh, so you can't just run and click like you can in, for example, Satisfactory. There. Uh, so this seems to be the easiest way for me to do this. There. Alright, so when we put this flooring on, then it will be anchored to these locations in here. And that means it's all going to be nice and green. It also means that if you build pillars, then we are going to build them on top of the one, the pillars that already exist, because, well, that's a good idea. Just. And this house will be used for, well, a lot of things, basically, for everything that we need, because we need it, maybe not sleeping, maybe I'll still use a little cottage for, for sleeping, and then I'll use the new place for primarily crafting, and yeah, all the things that we want to do for, for that. Uh, actually, now that I think of it, there should be, the fireplace is going to be the most difficult part of the build. Because the fireplace needs the raised terrain, and that requires a new tool that we uh, haven't used before. But I'm going to show you as well how to use that. That's also how I got the last pillar to actually work. 
And I guess that I could have built this on more even... <laughs> okay, so we ran out. One, two, three. That's pretty close. And that one. So I want to have the entrance over here. Let's start by making... Start by making the walls. It, it's going to look so much nicer when you have walls. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to have two for the opening. It's going to be a big opening. All the way around. And I'm going to try to make it as Viking-ish as I can. Uh, we are also going to make the fireplace early, I think. I think it's a good idea to make the fireplace early. There. So that is sort of the conference. Now it starts feeling a bit more like a house. And across from that, right in the middle, that one and that one, will be where I built the fireplace. As you can see, I have already a bit of raised terrain, but because... Uh, I just I want to show you how to do that. You have this one that has level terrain. And then you can try to level things up here. And because you can only put the fireplace on solid ground. So you have to raise the ground up to that level in order to build it. It's a bit weird, but uh, that's how it is. And let's go in here and repair again. I think I'm just going to let the door stay ajar. And I need some stone. Let's take that one. And then we can build the fireplace in here. And it will get be nice and cozy. See, I'm going to build one there and another one there. And then we can continue. I will would like to build the fireplace out of stone, of course. But, well, that's not really an option right now. So we're going to build it just out of wood. We are going to need this to, uh, to get out of our little house so we don't get pollution or get smoke inside the building. I love the fact that smoke is something you have to manage. Look at that. That is a fireplace. And it's going to be looking absolutely wonderful once we build, for example, some uh, something here. One, two. I don't think that's even close enough. Ow, 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 ow. Why did I do that? I want... That one, that one, and that one. Five on this one, this rack, because then I can make five. And this one will be for a cauldron that we'll need later on. So already now we are getting some kind of things in here that makes, well, some kind of sense. Let's see. The next thing we want to do is make the roof. We're just going to make go around here making the roof for all the places that we can make it. Here, yeah, not the corners, because then you're going to need special roofing. And not that one, because that's also going to need special roofing. I see we already have someone who came a bit too early for the housewarming party. That's always like... Someone's always coming early to the party, right? And and you're... It's, it's very nice, but I'm kind of not ready for you to arrive. So, please go away. This is how I treat my guests. If they show up too early to the party. So, I, I don't get a lot of guests anymore. Oh no, I'm slow. Let's do that. Bloop. Then I can pick it up when I want to. There. Alright. It's starting to feel a bit like a house now. I'm going to continue up here. And then we take make the corners afterwards. You can see that our... It's getting a bit... A bit more fragile on the outside here. Because they don't have any supports. But I will be building the supports afterwards. You don't feel rested anymore. No. Oh. Well, I don't think I need my stamina buff for anything right now for this. There. And now I need the corners. There. And you can do it. Now I'm resting. Oh, look at that. We found enough shelter to get resting. That one. 
And now I'm not resting. Oh, okay, so not enough to get my rest above back again. Oh. How do I... There. It's a bit tricky to, to fit it in here. That works. Okay. And then I need... That is an inverse corner. Yeah. Does it snap? Yes, it does. Okay, so now it's time for us to build the this side out here. That one will have a little... I don't know, not a porch, but... Uh, but just like a, a, a little entrance, formalized entrance here. I know you can be there. You have to be there. You damn well have to be there. Urgh. Can you go in here? Yes. Yes. Okay, that makes no sense that it could be there. There and there. Good. Okay, then I want to make sure that I have in the corners some pillars. There. Some supports. Then we're going to continue making su no. Make support there. Why are we not getting the support on top? I don't know. There. That will be my entrance. Get the support here in the corner. Oh no, that's not actually good. Well, it is good, but it doesn't work without having them on the inside here. I do need to make sure that that corner here is taken. That one. Otherwise, it's not being placed correctly. And I can only do a small one here for sure. Yep. There, on top of each other, looking good, and close it up. All right, so this is our entrance. Then I want to, maybe it's time for us to build these pillars everywhere. Looking good, so that's our entrance. <clears throat> I think I can pick this up now. I also wonder if I couldn't be wouldn't be able to build the crafting station in here and then that would work for all of them. Because that's gonna be the crafting station I want. It works. Much easier to repair here. Okay, uh onwards. I think we need to do the front part here as well, because I think that needs Come on, right there, and there, and then go out. And we'll need to do a bit more flare on the beginner, on the outside here, definitely. I think we'll do something, so it does, it has like, I, I don't know what, oops, I don't know what it's called, but houses tend to have something below the roof and before the walls kind of start. That looks good. At this point, it's some of the things we do are designed specifically because they are there to provide some sturdiness of the build, and then other things are just here to be like make it look nice because that's a big part of this game as well. It's just it's gonna be your house, so make it nice. For example, like a little cross up there that looks good. I think even a cross beam at that point will make it look make it really pop. Kind of hard to work up against the sun, and that's where the rain gutter would be if we had one of those, but we just have a... There. That's all good. I like it. Uh, we are also going to close these two, for sure. That one. And the other one. 
But we're still going to have this. Uh, see the whole thing about just running in and not running in. I can build that. I can build it over here. Right? Yes. Yes. But I can't build it here. Uh, or here because it's too close. So what I could do was... Uh, now that we have that one, I can actually just chop here. Boom. Did that work? Huh. That was enough. Nice. Now we can walk in. Uh, we still have some issue with that. And uh, what if we... Level ground, can I... Okay, so I'd have to remove this. And then do... Yeah, some level ground here. And over on the side. There. Just remove some of these things. Okay, that's probably worth it. Looking nice. And also something over here. Let's uh, just level that while we're at it. It looks better to have like s dirt around the house than it than grass all the way up. Oh. I think that looks better. And then we have other problems down here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, this looks good. Looking good. I like it. I like it. I think that looks... Oh, hello. Another one who came a bit early to the... Ah, uh, wow. There we go. All right. Let's make sure that we have... Get some rest in here. Resting? Resting? Where's the resting? I'm going to rest over here. And I have... Okay, so I'm gonna stand still over here for a bit. That one. Oh, I don't have any st stone break or any iron left. Let's wait for we get the buff, the rested buff, and then continue. It's getting no, it's not evening. It's afternoon. It's just cozy by the fire. I think it was a good idea to build the fire immediately. Here, pop, 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 and go over to this side and pick up everything. Caring too much. Obviously caring too much. Oh right, we also don't have any food here. And we just throw this out. Until we are not overburdened, it's just easier to pick it up here. There we go. That was a good idea. And go build some pillars. Now, really? Bastard. I am not ready for visitors just yet, so please come back later. All right, that is the location, and now we're going to build pillars. Uh, let's have a look at these. These are yellow, yellow. Wonder if they get better. Yeah. Well, that got green. Huh. This is still yellow, but that's green-ish. I don't get it. Not quite, but it, I know it helps. So that's all we need to care about here. And it also makes it look nicer. I guess a lot of houses would usually be opening at one end. But I think it looks nicer to have it opening at the middle section. Oh, I didn't even get my entrance done yet. That's okay. We'll get, we'll get around to it. Here. Right, so that's a bit more sturdy. What about out here? Did we finish that? Yeah, we did. But not quite, because I have an idea. And this is gonna be like the most annoying thing that we are going to do. It is the placement of these pillars here. Snap, snap, perfect. Snap. Come on, snap in. You can do it. There you go. I think that looks much nicer. And we're also going to have it here on the side. And that that one. 
that one but then i'll also continue it down here because i think it'll look better this is again not anything that has uh, any specific meaning but it does make in my opinion make it look much much nicer and it's also something that you actually do have on real viking houses real as in as in whatever okay now on this side we are unfortunately going to have to climb the roof but we're going to have to climb the roof to get the the rest of it built anyway so let's build some ladders up here that one that one ladder there and a ladder there because now up here we could build the rest of the things we want to do and what's that gonna be well first of all we are going to build more of the supposed chimney still made of wood not ideal but it's not going to catch fire but it's just looking a bit i don't know if this was stone it would be amazing if it's not stone it's going to be okay do i need that no I, yeah i do actually need it because it's going to look weird otherwise oh and we're out does that hurt a bit still too much oh it's that those damn stones here don't want to carry that around Two ninety nine, perfect and it's night time you know what night time means sleeping time and i will continue in the morning because there is no reason to get that so start in the morning all right good morning we are continuing and what we're going to do i just got an idea ideas are dangerous and go back in here and look for some of these do we have some honey yes mm, honey for breakfast there what i'm gonna do since it's still a bit gloomy here there's we are gonna make it so much more cozy by putting some lights there right in the entrance and right in the entrance and right there as well and right here They just use a bit of resin and we do have enough resin right now so that should not be a concern and man does that improve the looks of this this house it does indeed so the next thing we were working on we were working out actually on the outside working on these we have them here which are just ready to fall over and i'll snap it there that one that one and then go back down there and that looks blue so I don't think I need another one below nope what I did need was another pillar that one that one because then I can make here Yes, and then I need a, like a little hat on top of it, but I also need these small pillars all the way up here. And then I think the rest of it has to be built from the other side, so let's build what we can from this side. I am going to build that one, which isn't going to be there, and I'm going to use the flat roof. Now I realize the problems... I can't build it on the other side. Yeah. That was not great. Oops. I guess I have to build it here. That one. And then I could maybe... No. I can't get it to build... All right, we'll have to build it from the inside. We got this part, and what I then need to do is just use the hammer to remove only that, and only that. I think I'm done up there. I am definitely not done up there. Okay. 
it's it's really complicated with these things up on the roof and it'll always be a bit weird there and continue it on the roof and on the roof so what do we need we need that's the wrong one. It has to be a vertical one. Vertical, vertical, vertical. And then get the small ones. Go further up. And then we're going to build. Yeah. And maybe I can build the thatch roof from that side. Hold on. No. Nope. Not quite. What about up here? Can I link it up here? Mm, it's going to be missing something. So I think I need to build just that one. Mm, no, hold on. That's not correct. I think that fell in the fireplace. I have to get that. And... Uh, that's not really what I wanted. There. That's glorious. That is really looking good. Except for the fact that I now have some glimmering things on the roof that I can't get rid of. There we go. Oh, this is actually a perfect place to be positioned because I think I from here can build that one. Yeah, I can build some of it. I also think I can build this from the inside. Okay, but we still have some things to build here that's super important that we built all the way up. That one. And it also goes from this one and this side. And then we can go down and build the last connections down. It's funny how it, it looks like it's blue or it says it's blue, but it can't be blue when it's That's blue, that's blue, that's blue. Okay. Do we need anything more up here? I don't think so. I think the rest we can get from inside. So let's knock down this ladder. That's the ladder. And the other ladder is here. Get that. I will take this out eventually. Now this side also needs something. Yeah. I don't think I need to build it all the way up. I'm probably running out of of wood very soon. So the question is, can I now build this one? Please make it. Oh. There are so many temporary builds you have to do for these kind of things. I like that, kind of. I kind of like it. I, it might get old at some point, but right now I like it. Here. And then we're going to do also the bit of flare up here. Ta -da! And that one will be matching. It can either be... Yeah, it can stick out a bit. And I think that looks better. Nope. That one. That looks great. And now technically this isn't necessary to have this window open window. But I like it. It's not necessary because I, I get the smoke out from other places no okay that's like a secret entrance we don't want no secret entrances to our house there and let's build these two for the rails waves rolling ah that, i like this i really like this it's also some neat flair here that Makes it uh, look good. Okay, and over on this side, we also need the stuff up at the top. Oh, and I don't have enough wood. Too far here. Repair, and I can now take some of these out. Those 18 at 38, and you are exposed. Psh. Let's see if I can get up there. Build it from here. That little cross. Damn, I do need to build the ladder first. Again.
it looks so good with the smoke coming out from the other side. I really love the fact that they have uh, they've they've put the time and money into making smoke mechanics because that could be something that was just like yeah whatever smoke is just something that dissipates but by doing it this way then you're are forced to think about chimneys and stuff like that now i think i would call this house completed i'm not going to have any of these well i might keep that one that is a glorious house i am so proud of my little house is it done i think it might be done Yeah, I think I had it has all the things I want. Except maybe on the inside. Maybe on the inside there's a bit more that I could do. Uh, oh, resting. Uh, also very sad. Don't be sad, my friend. Don't be sad. There we go. That one. And then I can probably... How many? I, it's just one flint. I need the other flint. That one. So I can build... Crafting. That one. So now it's a level 2 crafting bench instead. That was important. Yeah. Right, we're not quite done here. Because I think we need some crossbars as well. I think that will just finish the look and feel of this by having crossbars up here. I don't know. Well, I don't think they do anything in terms of making it uh, making it uh, better. But I think it look, does something in terms of just making it look nice. We could also make a little loft up there if we want to sleep up there, but I really like the fact that you can see out. So, I don't want to do that. And this house will then be for pretty much anything we want to do for now, except maybe... Oh! Someone hasn't quite done the house. It's going to rain in here soon. Uh, I wonder if I would have forgotten that. There. There. Now it's closed off. Crossbars over, maybe. Crossbars here? Yeah. I think that makes sense. Then I guess we should also do crossbars out here because it's supposed to look like they are supporting the house. So then it would also make sense to have these crossbars out here. That looks so good. Now we could do like corners as well, but I think we, we got enough excess wood in here for just uh, aesthetic purposes, carrying too much, yeah. And then I don't want to carry that. Boop. What I do want to do is over here, I want to build, this is going to be our massive, sto ma massive storage, massive storage. Uh, why can I not adjust this? Hmm. What if I do that and make a flat one here? Yes. Not sure this is possible, but I'll, I'll try it. Did I get guests again? Take that out and then get some chest. All right, I got to go out and I know we're almost time for the housewarming party, but not just yet, not just yet here and we'll use these chests exclusively mm -hmm. can I build it up here I can we have four boxes for every square That will be our primary storage area for, for the next, I don't know, long time. Nice and collected. Oops, missing requirement. Oh, really? 100 wood. That should be fine. That one. I wonder if they, they're sticking out on the back side of the building. That would be... Uh, Unfortunate. There. And I'm pretty sure someone will go like, well, you can actually build it higher. Yes, I can, but this looks super nice. Super, super nice. Take that, take that. And our house is now completed, right? 
This one will be for a cauldron for the cooking later on. And uh, maybe there's like a tiny thing we could do. We could, until we have something better, we could just make some, just make it look a bit more sturdy here. That one, that one. Yeah, that looks good. Then we can ink banners. We can do all sorts of cool things in here. And I can go in and the idea is that here I will be repairing. I'll be doing all the stuff for workbench and over here I can have the forge and then that will be it. Everything is good. Oh, that's a beautiful house. So imagine this episode. We have now killed the boss and we have uh, built a little house. That's an annoying tree. They will, we'll take that out when we have the opportunity. I hope that you have... Uh, enjoyed this episode there was a lot of building but also a lot of boss fighting so i mean what more can you want you want boss fights you want building and i am super happy about our new house it looks so good i mean there's something about this game that just makes things just look absolutely amazing uh, despite the relatively low poly count ah, thank you more arrows good yep that's where we are if you have enjoyed it, hit the enjoy button, call the like button. If you want to see more, then I'm actually streaming this on Twitch on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And uh, yeah, the, do drop on by. It's at twitch.tv slash Nilaus, and it is at 8 p.m. Central European time. And uh, this is where we just do more exploration and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, try some things out and so that I can make these episodes a bit more structured. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.